Need a gentle move for your neck and shoulders? How about some Sphinx Pose? Dr. Marcia here of Move with Marcia and let me show you a nice gentle back bend called Sphinx Pose. It's kind of the more chill sibling of Cobra Pose. Now, of course, I am on the floor. You don't have to be. You could be on your bed. You could be on your couch if you have enough room on your couch. As long as it is a comfortable surface that you could lay down on your belly and not necessarily sink into, you'll be fine. So why would you want to do a Sphinx Pose? Be some good neck and shoulders action, expanding the chest, getting into the pecs, a little strength as you're pushing yourself away from the floor in the upper back and the neck muscles. You might also get into a little bit of stretching of the hip flexors, depending on your setup. So let's get into it. So we get down on our bellies. And sometimes if you have a big belly or you're kind of a person that has a lot of an arch in your low back, it feels uncomfortable to be on your belly. So feel free to use anything around you and reposition and play around with it. For me, that means putting a cushion under my belly and that makes me feel like my hip stays a little more level and my belly and my butt is not messing up the vibe. That works for me. Maybe that'll work for you, maybe it won't. Who knows? So from there, basically get on our elbows, put the palms down. You can look straight ahead or you can look kind of in between the hands as you actively tuck the chin. So for some, this might not look like much. For others, this could be hard enough because we do have to press away. If I have no effort, this is what I look like. So I do have to press away from the floor and pick up my neck and hold it against gravity. This is working on that nice chin tuck. So if I'm out here, I might get a little pinch. So you wanna make sure you're tucked in and you're pushing away from the ground. And your hands are not necessarily pressing into the ground. They are grounded, rooted, in touch with the floor or the bed, wherever you're at, but you're not pushing. So this is why it's the more gentle cousin than Cobra because Cobra, you're pushing up. Even if your arms don't get straight, even if you play around with the hand position, you're pushing all the way up. This one, it, the pressure is mostly at the elbows and the shoulder. And you can come closer or farther away and play around with that position. You can hang out in Sphinx Pose. If you have a baby, you know this looks pretty much like tummy time. Guess what? We still need all those same benefits. So you could hang out here, maybe read a book, watch TV. Or maybe you want to add some movement, maybe you add some neck circles, maybe you add some reaches, maybe you add some shoulder circles, whatever you want to do here, I'm sure it's a great idea. Just major keys, pushing against the floor, chin is tucked, hands are for the most part relaxed, low back is hanging out, super chill, comfortable, add a cushion if you want to, whatever you need there, and hang out. Cool? Cool. So that's Sphinx Bows. Have your fun in adult tummy time. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns for this position. Any other ideas to make laying on your belly more comfortable? If you have them, feel free to share. I don't know everything, right? I'm just hopefully a guide sharing what I know. So if you know something else, feel free to comment down below. You'll never know who that could help, okay? If you like this video, thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.